Welcome to Pressure Points. I'm Gene Munster. Our topic is Microsoft earnings. Before we get into the pressure point, just recap, Microsoft exceeded revenue by 1% and earnings by about 5%. This is similar to Google also reported at the same time tonight. They had exceeded top line by 1% and bottom line by 3%. So Microsoft is a little bit better. As of recording, Microsoft shares are trading down a half a percent. That is improvement from where they had bottomed out and after hours trading at down two and a half percent. So show an important move higher as they talked about their outlook. And we'll jump into the pressure point. And I'm going to read some comments from uh, Nadella's opening comment. Was he, he says, we've moved from talking about AI to applying AI to scaling it by infusing AI across every layer of our tech stack. Infusing AI across every layer of our tech stack from talking to infusing it. That was where Microsoft kicked off their call and that is the pressure point. How is AI impacting their business? And to really zoom in on that, we gotta break it down into three parts. One is their cloud business, second is office, and third is profitability. In terms of their cloud business, Azure specifically, it's about 15% of revenue. It grew at 30% in the December quarter. Expectations were for it to grow at 27.5%. It grew at 29% in the September quarter. So sequentially, the growth rates increased by 100 basis point, and that was a positive surprise. When you put it in the context of what happened with Google Cloud, Google Cloud accelerated their cloud business by 320 basis points in the December quarter. So on a relative basis, even though Azure is growing faster off of a bigger number, Azure has 22% market share versus Google Cloud at 11. There's, there, I would give advantage to Google when it comes to the war between the cloud wars, at least for the December quarter. But importantly, the outlook for the March quarter, when they got to the prepared outlook remarks, was for Azure growth to continue at that 30% rate, which is remarkable given the law of large numbers. I would have expected them to have guided close to 27%. So a very favorable output, uh, impact. And that is being driven by AI. Specifically, they talked on the conference call that inference training uh, or inference is the uh, biggest impact in terms of where they're seeing the spend in Azure. And they mentioned that a third of the 53,000 customers are new to Azure over the past year, which is impressive and means that they added their customer base by increased it by 50% and revenue in the December quarter by 30%. So when you have a customer base that's growing faster than revenue, that's usually a sign that you're going to have some sustainability and revenue growth over time because you add those new customers and then they tend to grow over time. So that's a positive sign about Azure growth in the coming quarters. And so outlook overall relative to AI's impact on Azure is that customers are using it for inference. They're adding a lot of customers and that means that the growth rate is continuing to remain elevated here. The second topic related to how AI is impacting Microsoft's business is with Office. And the uh, specifically on the Outlook commentary is that for the Office uh, to grow at uh, to grow at 15% year over year. Now taking a step back, Office accounts for call it 22, 23% of Microsoft's overall revenue. So this combined with cloud, those two segments are call it 37% of revenue, but are, are some of the most uh, focused uh, segments by investors. But back to the commentary uh, for 15% growth for Office for the March quarter, the street expectations were for closer to 12%. So that's in the positive category when we think about the outlook. And they also mentioned that, uh, well, it's early days for Microsoft 360 Copilot. This, of course, is powered by AI. We're excited by the adoption we've seen to date and continue to expect revenue to grow over time. So stop short of giving details, but definitely stoked the optimism that that uh, 365 co-pilots can have a positive impact on their office business. And then the final piece is related to expenses. And as they uh, kind of brought it all together through the Outlook commentary, 
Uh, there was expectations, they set expectations that, that operating margin should improve one to two points in 2024 over 2023, which is, again, remarkable given the amount of investment that they're making in AI. They're starting to actually see some cost improvements around that and uh, some uptake in revenue from some of these co-pilot products. But bringing it together and starting to see an improving margin this early in the AI cycle is going to get investors more optimistic that we're going to see even more margin improvement down the road. So when you put all this together, the positive outlook related to Office and Azure, the positive commentary related to expenses, I think you're going to get a situation where analysts generally went into the call thinking that they're going to grow revenue this year around 15%. They'll probably leave this uh, thinking that revenue is going to grow around 16% for calendar 24. And going into the call, we're thinking that Earnings were going to grow at around 16% and probably now leaving the call thinking earnings are going to grow at like 18%. So very high level, saw positive, you're going to see positive revisions on Microsoft in both the top line, small but positive, both the top line and the bottom line directly related to AI. Uh, on behalf of Pressure Points, I'm Gene. Bye for now.